Today, let me show you how to do animation like this, without using keyframes. Let me first add some text, on this image segment. Select a font, and then go to the effect presets. Go to the text, shape, edges category and select an outline preset. Let us change the color of the outline. And then, place the text over here. I will also add a shape, to create a ball, which will hit the text. Add some gradient, to make it look like a real ball, and then move it to the bottom left. Add a keyframe, where the ball is still outside of the frame. And then, move the timeline a little bit, and move the ball to the top right, so that the ball appears to move from the bottom to the top. I will add motion blur effect to the ball, so that it looks more realistic. This is looking good, but let me add some delay, before the ball appears. And now, let me find out the exact time in the timeline, where the ball hits the text. And that is where I am going to split the text segment. And on the right hand side of the text segment, I will add the squeeze effect, to give it the bouncy look. As you can see, changing the amount parameter here, makes the text look bounce. But we need to automate the process of changing the amount parameter and also make it periodic, to make it look natural. This is where we can use this powerful feature of periodic animation. Just tap on the little clock image button on the left of the slider, to move to this parameter automation console. The first thing you can see here, are the different periodic options, showing how the value of the parameter can change over time, automatically. And then there are options like frequency and the range, between which, the values can oscillate, also you can make it damp, over time. For our example, let us choose the sine wave option. It is already bouncing, but we need to increase the frequency. Oops, that is little too fast. Let me reduce the frequency a little bit. That looks okay, but we also need to reduce the range, between which the text is bouncing. That is perfect. Let me play it from the beginning. That is nice, but in reality, the bouncing damps over time and comes to a halt. We can simulate that by adding damping over a few cycles. Let me add a linear damping over seven cycles. Now the oscillation gradually slows down, and comes to a halt after 7 cycles. I think a faster damping would look more natural, so let me change the damping curve, and see how it looks. That is almost perfect. Let me increase the cycles to 9, I think that would look better. And that's it. We now have a perfectly bouncing text, that looks very natural. This is just an example of how you can use this automatic cycling of parameter values. You can use it in any effect parameter to creatively add animation to your videos. I hope you like this new feature. Thank you for watching.